Is there a Ben show there? Is there a modern show there? Is there a Gandhi there? Is there a Chatia there? Is a Rundi there? Is your mother a Rundi? Is your sister a Rundi? Hello? Hello? Hello! Hello! Good afternoon, sir. This is Sam from Affordable Care Act. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you so much for asking and this enthusiasm, sir. I appreciate it. I'm not going to take much time of you, sir. The reason of this short call is to let you know that federal government is providing you subsidies and those subsidies will help you in paying all of your health insurance bills and can save you up to 100% on your health insurance. So how old are you, sir? What's your age? I'm 51. You are 51. It's 5 and 1. All right. Am I getting it right? Yes. All right, sir. At the age of 51, do you have Medicare, Medicaid, or employer coverage by any chance? No. I was born poor. I'm going to die poor. All right, sir. The government of United States is there for you. So, sir, can you please state your first and last name for me? My first name is Robert, and my last name is Grinnell. Robert, and what's your last name? Can you spell it for me, sir? It's spelled G as in golf, R as in Romeo. G. Yeah, so R I'll as in Romeo. Then I is in India. I is in India. And it's November. And is November. And it's November. And other N? Yes. He is an echo. I Sir, G R I N N. Then E S and Echo. E S. No, E S and Echo. Okay, E S and Echo. L is in Lima. L. Then L is in Lima. And again, N L. Robert e Grinnell, am I right? Yes, yeah, so I'll read that back. G is in Golf. R is in Romeo. I is in India. N is in November, N is in November, E is in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima. It's the same spelling as the, fa that, as the famous bird expert who died in 1939 or the person who was told in the 19th century, go west, young man. All right, sir, I got you. What's your zip code down there? 48126. Four eight one two six. Yes. All right, sir. Will you please stay online with me for a few seconds so that I can connect you with my area license agent so that he can help you get this program, okay? Okay. I look forward to speaking with the uh, area license Danis. All right, sir. Stay on the line for a few seconds. I'm going to get you connect as soon as possible, all right? Okay. I'm just going to need a few seconds, sir. Okay. And by the way, how's your day going so far? How are you doing? Well, I woke up this morning, and I checked the obituary section of the newspaper, and my name wasn't in there, so I'm grateful. All right. That's so nice to hear, sir. All right, please stay with me online for a few more seconds. My area manager is that. Okay. Hi, Robert. It's me, Alexander. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? Pretty good. No complaints so far. So, Robert, as you had a word with one of my associates about that free subsidy, so it seemed like you had a perfect candidate for that. You're in Michigan, right? Yes, the murder mitten. Gotcha. All right, the board admission. Okay, great. And uh, Robert, you're all set from our end. What, what we're going to do now, we're going to just let you know the benefits right now, that what you may qualify for today. Like, let's see if you can qualify for some $0 free subsidy for you. 
So, Robert, what I'm going to do for you now, I'm going to just look out for a license agent for you from your local area, just to make sure that I'll properly patch you up with them. And once they pick the call, they simply tell them that you want that free subsidy for you. Okay? Okay. I look forward to speaking with the license Danis. Li what? What do you say? The licensed agent. Uh huh. What do you said before? I said licensed agent. You want to talk to the licensed agent? Yes. Great. All right. Yeah, sure. I will let you connect with the licensed agent. But before that, I have a very short statement for you, sir, which is going to be a state statement. Okay, listen it carefully. It's going to be pretty simple for you, like by submitting your information, Robert. You would agree to receive communication via live or dial, pre recorded call, email, or text messages from a company and their partner at the telephone number that you provided, and you hold the company harmless against any demands such as claim loss or damages. Are you agree? Yes. Great, perfect. And the last statement what I have for you, just to make sure that I will provide you that substitute is going to be by providing wrong and false information to a state coordinator, is going to held again in the court. Are you agree? Yes. Great, perfect. Robert, what's your last name? Grinnell. Spell that for me kindly. G is in golf. Is that Rinnell? R is in Romeo. Uh -huh. I is in India. Uh -huh. N is in November. Mm -hmm. N is in November. Mm -hmm. E is in Echo. L is in Lima. L is in Lima. It's the same spelling as the famous bird expert who died in 1939, or the guy from Vermont who was told to go west, young man, by Horace Greeley. Uh -huh. That's the reason I asked you to spell your name for me. It sounds like something familiar to me. Okay, great. Uh, Robert, do you have any middle initial or any middle name? Oh, it's an Oscar. Oh, it's an Oscar. Gotcha. All right, Ian, what do you do for a living? Oh, I work as a cook at a crystal meth lab. All right, T, that's pretty good. Yes. All right, T, and uh, you're on the fixed income, right? Yes. Great, great. All right, Ian, uh, you're looking for a subsidy for you? Like, do you do not have any insurance in place? No I, health insurance? I don't have any insurance, and I can use some insurance because I have syphilis, gonorrhea, Chlamydia, herpes, genital warts, HIV, testicular cancer, monkeypox, and I have a reptile dysfunction. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. You have HIV or erectile dysfunction, Phyllis, and what you said? What else you have? I have syphilis, the... gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh -huh. herpes, genital warts, HIV, testicular cancer, monkeypox, and I have a reptile dysfunction. I'm so sorry for that. You're in a pretty good, I mean, pretty bad shape right now. How many medication do you take, man? Oh, I take about 16 and a, a bunch of pills in a long, long line. Gotcha. Can you name some of your medication, if you don't mind? Oh, well, this is uh, some of my uh, medication. Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B, food stamps, and welfare. 
I was born poor, and I'm going to die poor. Okay, so are you getting a social security income? Yes, I've been getting social security ever since I retarded at age 65. Okay, you are retired, okay? Yes, I retarded at age 65. Okay, to make sure that we can deliver your free phone and tablet, can you please confirm your zip code? Four, eight, one, two, six. Okay, so where are you living now? I live in Dearborn, Michigan. Okay, so are you living in... Uh, can you please confirm your street address? It's 5500 Calhoun Street, Unit 666, Dearborn, Michigan, 48126. Yeah, Victor, how are you doing today? So are you not living in 2206 Kingsbury Avenue? Oh, Dearborn, Michigan. I used to live there, but I don't live there anymore. I couldn't afford the property taxes. Okay. So are you living in... 5500? So 5500 Calhoun Street... Unit 666, Dearborn, Michigan, 48126. Did you find me in the computer? No. Oh, it's definitely in there. Maybe you misspelled Calhoun. Calhoun is spelled C as in Charlie, A as in Alpha, L as in Lima, H in Hotel, O as in Oscar, U as a Uniform, and is in November. The street is named after a famous senator from South Carolina who proposed a political theory called nullification before the Civil War. Okay, lastly, just to submit your application, can you please come from last four digits of your social? Oh, well, my social security card is upstairs. You move a bit slow when you're 73, so I'm climbing the stairs to get that number. So I'm climbing the stairs. <laughs> Excuse me, that happens every time I smoke Hindu Kush. Just another set of stairs. Hello? Hello? Hello! Hello! Is there a Ben show there? Is there a modern show there? Is there a Gandhi there? Is there a Chatia there? Hello? Hello? Please like and subscribe. Thank you.